company founded from a, from a legacy business in the electric motor space around about 11, 12 years ago and had, has been solely focused on in-wheel electric drives from that period. Last year, we, uh, the, the original investors exited from the business and the, and the business was sold to NEVS, National Electric Vehicle Sweden, uh, which is what used to be Saab, uh, and uh, who are in turn uh, eight, now 83% owned by Evergrande. So Evergrande is one of the largest real estate businesses in the world, uh, and uh, Chairman Xu, the the founder and still majority owner of Evergrande has announced a, a really ambitious plan to develop uh, its own electric vehicle company. For, for us, um, we, we feel that we can demonstrate uh, quite clearly today the, the viability of the technology in terms of it overcoming most of the technical roadblocks required to, to reach mass production. Uh, and, and we've also worked a lot on demonstrating the value of the technology, so it's difficult to do wheel motors. You know, there's always going to be two motors instead of one axle motor. There's therefore a little bit of a cost increase, but we have to show that that marginal cost increase represents a bigger value to the to our customer, the car maker or, or fleet provider, and also to their end user. We have a vision of mobility uh, that's one that brings transportation to all parts of society. Uh, and uh, that's including people who live in transport deserts, in areas that are not accessible by current vehicles, or people who are mobility impaired, or pe people who maybe live or work away from transport hubs. And so when we think about what's the right transport solution, what's the right mobility solution going forward, in terms of how we see our, our role, it enabling the uh, vehicle manufacturers and the vehicle operators uh, to meet the future needs of cities and maybe the future regulations and also to have a profitable uh, vehicle that brings them substantial revenues. We foresee a lot of flexibility so where you can have one vehicle design with multiple body configurations uh, and that's the way to bring profitability and profitable businesses are sustainable and what we're really looking for is bringing sustainable transport to all parts of society.